Hi, today we're here to talk about biostimulants and where they fit into the growing season. But also I want to cover on the fact of, can biostimulants replace nutrition? Or do they actually complement it? So biostimulants fit into two distinct positions in the growing season. The first is in that rapid vegetative growth stage in that early season when we're trying to build the foundation of the plant. We want to push those roots down after moisture and nutrition. So where the biostimulants fit is that they can actually help with root and shoot differentiation. So we can do this in a multiple way with biostimulants. We can either use a hormone package containing things like auxin, which tell the plant that there's enough green stuff but to drive down those roots after the moisture. Or we can go with an organic acid. The organic acids are actually going to trigger the gene within the plant so that the plant produces its own auxin. The second timing that we want to focus on biostimulants is at that reproductive timing. We want to ensure good pollination and good seed set. So to do this, we're going to use things like brazinosteroids or auxins, which are a hormone. And as you can see from this video, as we run it through, we can see those pollen granules germinating. We can see that pollen tube elongating. And the thing that really shines when we add in these type products is we can see that stronger, longer pollen tube, which is going to give us a lot better fruit set. The other type of biostimulants that we can use at that later timing are the amino acids. So the amino acids are things like proline, glutamic acid, and these are going to help with pollen germination and also help with that fruit set at the end of the season. So is it best to use one or multiple biostimulants? Well, actually, as you can see from this mung bean assay, multiple biostimulants really do have a great synergistic effect on the crop. As you can see in this picture, we've added a seaweed pack that contains hormones to an organic acid pack which triggers those hormones. And look at the difference in that root structure. That root structure is going to give better nutrient uptake, but also better moisture uptake, which will be beneficial at the end of the season as it gets warmer and drier. So, biostimulants, can they replace nutrition? Or are they complementary to nutrition? In an ideal world, Biostimulants should replace nutrition, but the challenge is our crops don't necessarily have the fertility package to get the best out of the biostimulants. And one analogy I'd give you is, I've got a truck that has a turbocharger on it. The turbocharger makes my truck a lot more efficient. But what happens when I forget to put gas in the tank? That turbocharger is useless to me. We need to think of biostimulants like this. We ask a lot from our crops, but not always do we fertilize for the outcome. So I believe that fertilizing, when we use biostimulants, is beneficial and that biostimulants definitely are complemented with nutrition. So at ATP, we really do believe that biostimulants complement nutrition. And this is why our product line is designed to incorporate both nutrition and biostimulants. Whether it be pre-seed, relief, fortify, energy or kinetic, they contain both the biostimulants and the nutrition pack to power these. For more information on all of these products, please feel free to visit our website. Thank you.